Hello, I'm Carla from Art with Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special video for you because I just received a new set of markers that I want to unbox with you. Here are my new markers and I cannot be more excited for them. For some time now I've been wanting to use art markers. But you know it's hard to get good markers and there's also the budget. You know I have a few markers because I've shown them to you. I have this bag that is really old and they serve me for a long long time even though some markers have dried and I just recently purchased this one. But as you can see having 24 markers or let's say 20 markers with the ones that have dried up sometimes doesn't seem enough. But if I want to have all the markers in the world, which I do, I don't have the budget for that. So I did some research and I looked at my options and I decided to buy these Ohohu markers. Now I'm able to open them with you. So let's get cranking. You can see that I just purchased 60 colors of alcohol-based markers to make some art. And you know, this bag is not a toy. I like how they come in a little bag. I think that's very useful because God knows I need places to store my stuff. Let's open up this baby over here. I can't, so it might be childproof or something that's really hard I can see it's stuck with this that's why what is this it says if you're coloring on thin paper please put this pad between your coloring sheets to prevent any bleed through well that's nice honestly my my drawings are mostly all the time just you know damaging my beautiful table over here and they give you this color chart which I appreciate it you can see all the colors that I got here and well a little guide oh who, who are markers what is a who who what is a who who doing what about their markers and of course all the colors that they have available and you can see there are plenty Next, I would like to get some skin color markers and maybe then later on some gray. I don't know if they're gonna be a hoo hoo or anything else, but I know I'll keep you posted. So here it is the 60 colors and the blender, which is always nice. They have tutorials, they have FAQs, and you know, they have their website, their YouTube channel, and their Instagram channel so we can follow them around and learn everything there is to know about their products so thank you very much by the way this is not a sponsored video this is something that I'm doing because I just like markers and I want to share with you what I'm learning about them so let's see let's get well they say they have lavender so let's check that out lavender should be number 83 where is 83? So what I really appreciate is, uh, as you can see, they have the color number. You can see that they mark the tip that's bored and the tip that's fine. I decided to buy these instead of the, um, of the brush tip. I just thought it was better for me. And yeah, it also has it on the other side. So that's as well really nice but I heard as well in a lot of recommendations is that we should keep them like horizontal and not store them upside down because then the ink won't, uh, won't work as well 
so let's see this is the broad tip and this is the fine tip let me get my notebook so that we can test them out I'm using my cans and paper as you can see it is for markers so it shouldn't have a lot of issues even though this paper is meant for markers they still bleed through so be careful that's because they're alcohol based that doesn't happen a lot with um, water water based markers so let's see and they gave us this thingy over here to try them out so this is the the broad tip and this is the pin looks pretty nice and as you can see it went through the paper but it didn't stain my working area now I'm curious to compare them to the prisma colors so so let's do that here they are although I don't think I might have the same colors the intention of the video was to unbox the markers not really to make a comparison but well we're here so as you can see these ones like cylindrical rounded whatever and they do as well have the number of the color on both sides this is the front one I can open it there you go see this is another sort of tip and this is a thin one so this is the other tip as you can see the prisma color comes thinner than the ohuhu but that really depends on what you're gonna use them for and let's see the other prisma colors they're different at least the tip is different and you can see the same they have the name although not on the tips they have a board side and a fine side so this is more similar to the one from the ohuhu So I'm gonna find a color that maybe most of these boxes have that it seems to be the orange and let's see how close they are in color again hoo -hoo. prisma color with the brush tip This one's supposed to be yellow orange and this one's supposed to be red so i'm gonna use the orange okay so probably the ohuhu is closer to this one they feel really nice so i'm gonna try to do some blending and see how that looks you can see there how they blend it I'm not the best using art markers I'm learning so be patient with me mm. 
Oh great, he dried. So well that's not gonna work. One of these two dry too, so let's see. So let's do another color then. So you can see that these ones are old because they're sort of dried. Well, not sort of, they're dried. <laughs> so they don't blend that well. But it's hard, it's hard to get rid of them. Let's see what blue could be similar to this one. The blue didn't blend as well as the orange did, but now I'm going to try and see if they blend between themselves. So far, the Prismacolor Premier has been the one that I feel blends better, although I think I selected very dark colors. Might not see that well because it's quite dark. But, well... Let's see with this one. You can see how it bleeds through, although this has been helping. So we have to wait for them to dry for a little bit. Now here you can see how they performed. This is your hoo hoo. This is a Prisma color with the brush tip, and these are my old Prisma colors. So I think the colors are very vibrant, especially the Prisma color ones. These it might be the colors that I selected. I mean lavender is not that of a bright color. It depends, I guess, what you use it for. But the orange seems pretty bright. You can see how. And this could be me, it could be my hand, how I didn't blend them the best. Although here you can see a little bit how I still have to up my level in the blending department. Here it was a mix of different, the same as this one. And then my old Prisma colors. Here I used different brands and created this like purple pink blending situation. And that's how it looks and then I use all of hoo hoo markers to create this gradient so I don't know what do you think leave me a comment I think so far the blend that I did the best was the purple and pink one I think I need to work this a little bit more and let me tell you I really like to hold the hoo hoo markers it comes really natural to me to hold this they're not heavy they're not like in the way they're easy to open uh, and my idea 
in getting these markers was to look for an affordable marker that I could purchase and have a lot of colors because well I don't or I didn't have a lot of colors before I purchased them now the Prisma color I mean they're markers I guess I mean thinking of the hole because I did notice a difference like I was like oh this is nice to hold and the Prisma colors well they're I mean I enjoy more a finer marker I guess but I did find it very hard to open the tip I actually had to see I had to ask for some help I think I need to turn it and then open it just something for you to know and I use these markers like not these particular markers but the first time I used our markers was in middle school and they were this brand so and I like I know the whole how they feel these are since these two are the same brand you hold them you know just the same uh, but I don't struggle as much opening the caps of this one probably because they're really old but yeah uh, I have to say that this brush tip it's really nice to use I don't know if it is a tip or the ink or both but uh, when I was coloring these were pretty nice the Prisma Color Premier but I'm really excited because I have a lot of colors of these Ohuhu markers and I want to use them to create a lot of different things so um, I'm gonna do the color test so I can have the card filled and know the colors because I want to do an illustration something really quick just to compare Prisma Color and Ohuhu For a moment there, I thought I was using a marker. But no, I wasn't missing anything. I just put everything on the desk as you saw, making a big display and then this baby just rolled down the desk. And this is a zero marker, which is the blender. 
it should help us blend or even erase some details like let's try it like if you could push a little bit the color if you wanted to delete something or if you want them to blend them better this is the marker that should help us and let's see i'm not looking up at a lot of difference here but as well it takes time and patience as everything with art Prisma color also has one in case you're interested. I just don't know where it is at the moment. Anyway, so this is my unboxing of the Ohuhu markers. You can see all the different colors. I think it's a very nice pack. You have 60 colors for only $25. That's how much I paid at Amazon. And if you're starting with our markers, just as I am, it might be a good first step. I know Copics are what all the great artists use but they're a little bit above the budget for a lot of us so i love my crayola markers for me those are the best they're water-based but now i want to try something different and i want to see what color markers can do that might be different than you know water markers so hopefully this video is useful for you too if you're trying to find out you know what's the difference between one marker and the other in the case of the Huhu and the Prisma color which are the markers that I have I'm gonna soon do an illustration to see how they work I'll make sure to share that here in my channel so you can see it and as I keep getting more stuff and just purchase every single item that I can afford I'll be sharing that with you. As I told you at the beginning, this video is not a sponsor. I just wanted to have a nice set of color markers. And I saw that a hoopoo was a very nice first step into that. Some people even say that they're very, very nice. They're copy quality. Why did I buy more hoopoo markers instead of Prismacolor or even Copic? Well, because budget-wise, it made more sense, especially since I'm not really one to use a lot of R markers. They're not really kind with a bullet journal or a notebook, you need special paper. So as I immerse myself in the beauty of art markers, I want to have a very affordable option that doesn't hurt my budget a lot and I can keep buying all the other things that I love as I see if this is an art form that's interesting for me and that comes easily again not everything in art comes easily you need a lot a lot of practice and patience and i hope you'll be joining me as i learn to use my art markers thank you for visiting me today i hope to see you soon and as always keep kind keep creative and keep safe see you soon bye please like and share my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel See you next time!